I wanted to also ask you about this protest against AOC that's gone pretty viral. None of this matters unless there's a nuclear war, which you voted to send arms and weapons to Ukraine. You are the establishment and you are the reason why everybody will end up in a nuclear war unless you choose to stand up right now and denounce the Democratic Party. I think it's important that people confront those who are voting for billions of dollars to keep this war going that keeps killing Ukrainians. They can even skirt the whole issue of uh, their voting for the uh, the billions of dollars by just saying, I call for negotiations now. I want to see this war to end. I know it only ends at the negotiating table. That should be an easy thing for AOC to do. And if she's not doing it, which she's, she uh, is not doing, I think she is so good on so many issues, domestic issues, but tends to not want to speak out on these important international issues, uh, then she should be confronted. And this idea that negotiations is somehow appeasement is so wrong. Uh, the idea that negotiations is pro-Putin is so wrong. How do we build up a groundswell to demand negotiations? And there are uh, two different tracks that we can be using. One is going to those who are progressive on other issues that we care about desperately, like the climate. Uh, we are reaching out to the people working on student debt, on Medicare for all, on all of these other issues to say, you know, let's say something about money just appearing out of nowhere when it comes to the over $60 billion that has already been allocated to this war, where there's not money available for these basic needs of the American people. That, I think, is the most important track for us to move forward on right now. But then we should also look at those people who are very different from us on all kinds of other ideological issues, but are calling for negotiations as well, because we need a very big tent and we need to build it very quickly.